So today is a rather cold day. We're working at 29 degrees on the cinder block up on the house. What is that? 31 degrees. Crawl space door, 34 degrees. 35. This door is not insulated. And let's see what the surface temperature is inside here. This is an open vented crawl space and the surface temperature is 54 degrees. Wow. On the sub floor, 56. What do we have outside? 30-ish? So we got a 20 degree spread even though this is a open vented crawl space. 59 degrees on the floor, on the ducts, 60 degrees. So you can see how even with an R8 insulated duct, we're still losing some energy, but that energy now is captured in this crawl space. Wow, that's like 30 degrees warmer. Is that fantastic or what? And so the theory on this is that this insulation blanket on the ground is stopping the energy from being sucked out. Because look, what's our ground temperature? 37. Yeah. And what's our temp inside? 56.8.431. Man. That is fantastic. So that's what I'm saying. Later to this insulation up on the floor, because really where we need the thermal envelope is down here on the ground, because our ground is so darn cold. So primary is to insulate the ground. Secondary is to insulate the walls. And then last would be the subfloor. I don't even think it's necessary so that we can retain all the heat coming off the ducts. Wow. Indoor environmental systems, open vent to crawl space with radiant barrier insulation. Gotta love it.